Live, 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 live. Hi, friends. Greetings. Now then, how cool is this? I'm testing out another platform today. This is Be Live. Many of you have already tried this out, and I'm pretty sure this might be my first time. I got my other screen here. So, yeah, we are broadcasting. So, awesome, possum. Hello. Be Live, eh? Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, and of course we can put little magic things up here like this, Facebook updates, add agenda item, show, and then that comes across on the lower thirds. <laughs> cool. All right, so as most of you know, today was the uh, Facebook earnings call. Some of you might have tuned into that. That was Facebook announcing the Q4 2016 plus full year 2016 earnings and the, all the usual stats. And one of my favorite pieces is the Q&A at the end that's uh, very beautifully and expertly and professionally moderated by the pros. <laughs> And so we have obviously Mark Zuckerberg and um, Cheryl Sandberg, COO, and then Dave Weiner, the uh, CFO. Now then, what do we have here? Oh, hi. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you guys are here. So I can go like this and Krista, ha ha ha, Laura Thirds for Facebook Live. She says, love, love, love. <laughs> Hello, Krista. Yeah, it's my first time using this app. I use Wirecast. I love Wirecast, very stable. And you can do lower thirds and storyboarding, all kinds of things. Also, Blue Jeans. Blue Jeans does multi person up to 25. I like to do that in groups. Yeah, Brenda, good day from uh, down under. She says, Brenda, you got some uh, kangaroos and wallabies in there. Hey, Cher, are you coming to the hug event tomorrow? HubSpot user group, Miss San Diego. Sure. Oh, what a great name. <laughs> great. Awesome. And then we have Marianne from Boston. Hiya. Great eggs. Yeah, that's kind of fun, isn't it? This is a neat app. So those of you who are already familiar with it, I know that you're you're great fans of Be Live and uh, your comments are popping up on the Be Live control panel. And they're flashing on my screen. I saw someone from Canada there. I have to put you up here, Miss. Mr. Jonathan, Jonathan Christian, I love it. A, a Canadian maple leaf and a glass of red wine. Now that's a great emoji combo. <laughs> Perfecto, love it. We have the Dominican Republic in here. Hi, Tony. Oh, this is so cool. I really enjoy how we can get the whole world in one room, <laughs> one virtual room. Diane from MD, that's Maryland, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. It's funny how the comments flash in the middle, but then they're over here too. And then I have a screen over here, so I'm watching over the corner of my eye. <laughs> hey, from Texas. Hiya, Angela. Angela Brumley, we're giving you your two seconds of, of fame here. Fame and fortune. Dave Basalto in the house. Hiya, Dave. <laughs> I'm always playing with the tech. I had a few tech hiccups earlier today. so. But anyway, that's why I'm camera ready. We had our inner circle call. <laughs> Oh, share. Oh, when you go to hug17.com, H-U-G-1-7, H-U-G-1-7.com, uh, or, or you can check my profile or my page down below. You can see details about it. It'll be fine. It'll be great if you're around. Love to see you there. Sean Smith, my, my brother from another mother <laughs> or cousin or something, right? Vancouver Island misses me. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. Another Australian in the house here, Meg and Hooper. Love it. Love it. So let's do this. I will come back to some of your comments in a momento. But first, let's run, run through some of the updates I have for you. Because it was, like I say, uh, Facebook's earnings call today. Now, I'm pretty sure with uh, the Be Live, you can't actually share your desktop. You can do two types of Facebook Live with uh, this Be Live. Be Live. And I think they're still in beta. Um, I don't know. And there's no charge for it. I'm pretty sure it's free. So that's pretty awesome. But what you can do is right now what we're doing is this Q&A. So as you're asking your comments, your Facebook comments are on the stream below this, I can selectively pop you up on the screen. That's what I've been doing. Or I can have like that lower third. And I can have the lower third on or off, right? There's it off, on. You can't change the colors as far as I know. It has to be that orange, same font. So, but that's fine. It's, you know, it's more than some other apps are offering. So by the way, Zoom, did you know that Zoom is now offering? 
Facebook Live for, and uh, not in groups, I understand it's profiles and pages and you have to have the paid version and it's a webinar. Um, I don't know, some folks were telling me about that, but that's pretty exciting. Oh, hi, Lisa, Lisa Candace confirmed me that. She says free for now, Zoom. Hey, look how beautiful you look. <laughs> she says she loves it. Oh, you be live, be live is free. Got it, got it, yeah. Yeah, so there's also Zoom. There's so many of these, but guess what, my friends, right? Facebook is coming along with um, a desktop, right? So sooner or later, desktop, Facebook Live, and I've been, you know, watching this for a little bit just before the holidays. There was multi-person video chat live, right? So up to 50 people inside a messenger. Wonderful timing to come out just before the holidays or families around the world and friends to connect through messenger. Now, my educated guess is Facebook is just working on making sure that's stable, checking the users and whatnot. And who knows, at the flip of a button, I would love to see Facebook bring the group video chat feature through Facebook Live that we could do this format through our pages and our profiles. It doesn't have to be 50. I mean, that's a lot of folks. But, you know, Google Hangouts did 10, and that was just fine. 10 is good. Lisa, she's saying, you have a desktop Facebook Live, but she's yet to use it. Hey, Lisa. Yeah, and who do we have in the Philippines? April says, patiently waiting. Okay, yeah, yeah, neat. It's pretty, pretty cool, isn't it? It's, it's, it's a fascinating times right now. Yeah, yeah, Krista, uh-huh, Zoom, the just brand new offered uh, the Facebook Live feature, uh-huh, pretty exciting, yeah, 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 hey, Gina, first time commenter, Gina, now look at that last name, I'm assuming the K might be silent, Nuppenberg, how about that, Nuppenberg, Arkansas, yay, welcome, welcome, <laughs> yeah, fabulous, okay, keep the comments and the input coming, more than happy to come back to those in a momento, let's just go through some of the exciting stuff from today, so previously, Facebook was saying they had 1.79 billion active users, and that's monthly. They tend to differentiate between monthly active users, daily active users, and then you have um, all users, and then you have, they separate out mobile. So I like to just go by the one top number, which is, it was 179, it's now 186. So 1.86 billion users, monthly active users on Facebook. That is pretty darn close to 2 billion, right? Now then, the great question, will Facebook ever make it into China? I don't think so. I know that Mark Zuckerberg would love, love, love to have Facebook accepted in China, but China's WeChat is light years ahead and not really like it's a comparable social network. It's not even a comparable messaging app, comparable to Messenger or WhatsApp. It's more like a mobile operating system. You can do everything inside of WeChat and it really does have a strong foothold in the market. So we'll see, you know, I mean, wouldn't it be amazing if, if uh, Facebook got into China uh, and, you know, the users adopted it en masse, we would sure see a massive spike in Facebook users. But for now, closing in on 2 billion, which is phenomenal. It's very, very, uh, really a profound um, accomplishment. Mark Zuckerberg said today, uh, as the largest global community, we'll continue to do what we can to bring the world together. I love that that is the mission of Facebook and it has always been for 10 years now, well, 12 years really, uh, since 2004, right? And uh, gosh, it's going to be 13 years actually this year. And um, it, it's about connecting the world. You know, that's the Zuck's mission. And then people start asking, well, what about, you know, Gen Z? Is, is everybody in the planet 20 and under, age 20 and under? Gen Z are preferring uh, Snapchat. Okay, yes, they are to a certain degree. Also, Instagram. And Instagram still up and coming. I'm missing still 600 million users on Instagram. Both Facebook and Instagram have actually said, uh, I've heard this from reliable sources on two different occasions, they declare that they are only 1% done, right? You know Facebook has a 10-year roadmap, three-year, five-year, 10-year roadmap. They released it last year, so I guess maybe it's a nine-year now. <laughs> okay, profit, massively profitable, 10 billion in profit. I thought this was another astounding stat. Facebook uh, actually gets almost 20 dollars from every United States and Canadian user compared to five dollars at IPO which is only five years ago we're just coming on the five-year anniversary of Facebook going public right it was May 18th 2012 here we are 2017 five years later and that's an extraordinary accomplishment right to go from five dollars 
per user, and that's advertising dollars predominantly, right? Now then, Zuck went on to say, as most all of you know, video, 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 right? So those of you who are in the uh, US, you know, now this is gonna be a little tricky because normally I can show my, my this is the first time using me live and, and you can't show your screen, but because um, I like to have ways that I can pull up my phone and show it to you. Oh, now look at that. See, I pull up my, I pull up my <laughs> phone and I do have Zuck on C first. Let's see if I can get the lighting so it doesn't, you can probably just about see it. There we go. If I move, if I move this, I've got my Word doc. And uh, there we go. So, yes. No, no, it's not in the right way. But anyway, that's not normally how I like to do it. I like to show you my, my I like to show you my, um, phone, I can pull it up on desktop. I do that with other apps. Anyway, this is Zuck saying, we just announced our quarterly results and gave an update on progress, building a global community, always emphasizing that part, right? Our community now has almost 1.9 billion. That's how they're saying it, including 1.2 billion active every day, more than 65 million small businesses. Uh, Cheryl Sandberg talked about that today. I've got some stats for you coming up in a second here. Oh yeah, and there's a really nice graphic, right? There you go. Let's see if my camera will focus on that. Uh, there she goes, much better. 1.86, there you go, 600 million. So you can see, ah, uh, yeah, three years to five years. That's a really interesting way to do this 10-year uh, roadmap. It's a different way of laying it out than they did they did last uh, last year. But the thing I wanna point out to you is this little um, play button. Oops, I'm going backwards here. The little, right, the little play icon. Everybody in the US has that. Zuck talked about it today. It's, it's a play, it's interesting. So some people have noticed it's in the middle and others um, it's to the left of middle. And then you got marketplace. I don't, I don't, I've heard great things about marketplace. Some people love marketplace. I'm not a marketplacer, <laughs> but um, anyway, so this is a really interesting new uh, place that Zuck talked about. There's new dedicated video news feed, okay? And also, I mean, somebody called these stories today. I don't know that these are really stories. Oh, look, there's myself. I get to see. The, uh, I've, I've got a notification that I'm, I'm up there because I'm live right now. Oops, I shouldn't go away from the mic. <laughs> anyway, Zuck talked about that today. They're calling it a tab, okay, the video tab. Uh, it's already rolled out to everyone in the U.S. and it's coming to the rest of the world. Video, Zuck talked about today on the earnings call, he called it a mega trend, a mega trend in the same order as mobile. Apparently, New Year's Eve was the biggest, biggest period, biggest time for live. And he said, you know, they'll be putting video at the center of their plans. I mean, they already have for quite some time. Uh, Zach also talked about the goal of the new tab. This is in response to the Q&A section. He said, when people want to watch videos, they want to see a public figure, they come to Facebook knowing that they can see all the content they want is a very different intent than people just, typically now just going to Facebook and just kind of pulling up randomly. It's kind of intermittent, it's random, you know, versus the whole goal of the new video tab on mobile is that, that the user is starting to think that is their destination. It's a destination to watch video. Because as you might know, mid-roll ads are coming. Your video has to be 90 seconds or longer. The videos start in at 20, excuse me, the ads start in at 20 seconds. They're being tested. Uh, ads are also being tested in Messenger uh, in Thailand and Australia. That's really interesting on the home screen of Messenger. Not too keen on that, but we'll see. If it works as an advertiser, then that's fabulous. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I've yet to see some really good algorithm, you know, very personalized on the video. For me, when I look at that new video tab, I'm seeing this massive mishmash of you know major news networks and then when that live eagle cam was doing its thing of no offense to the eagle cam i thought that was exciting and entertaining and and and, and wonderful <laughs> i didn't need to see 12 in a row though right what's coming is some of you might know that facebook's testing live 360 some of you might have seen that wonderful test they did with uh, national geographic they teamed up with nat geo 
and they did a live 360 coming from the Mars simulator. And it was really well done. I thoroughly enjoyed it. They're also experimenting with live audio only, and that's going to really help journalists, and, you know, those that folks really out in the trenches in the field and they maybe don't have a real solid connection to go live on mobile right away, but they've got decent phone connection and they can go live audio only. All right. Actually, uh, we didn't talk about this um today, but there is a new feature where you can designate as like a new admin role, you can have someone going live on your page. And, and if you want you, you as the master admin, you can hop in there and, uh, you know, uh, uh, cancel the live, if you know, I don't know, but that's obviously designed for, you know, major media. Um, but you know, if business are small, small business, medium sized business, major business uses for that too. There's live with uh, masks coming too similar to that uh, Masquerade app. I'm sure, you know, Facebook bought Masquerade. Uh, and then uh, Zuck talked about AI, artificial intelligence, what's coming in the next 10 years. I thought it was really interesting. So like text analysis, one of the things they're doing is, is, is working on being able to analyze your text and create drawings out of, I don't know, pictures or text. But the thing that caught, caught my eye, our attention was, uh, Mark said that, let's say you post on Facebook looking for a place to eat, somewhere you can go. He just used, you know, a place to eat as an example. Facebook would be able to analyze your text and obviously draw in on other parameters, probably like your location, and make suggestions for you, make recommendations. So that's all pretty interesting stuff. Uh, real quick, Cheryl Sandberg, who you know is the wonderful COO. I love Cheryl. I've always loved her. I have great, great respect for her. She's a great woman leader, a female leader um, lean in and all the work she does with that. So she's talked about how there's 65 million businesses using pages, which is great. I remember when that number was 50 million. So it's really growing 5 million businesses using Instagram business profiles. And that's quite a feat. Uh, and there's uh, more and more of those users are becoming advertisers. There's 4 million advertisers on Facebook and half a million, that's 500,000 on Instagram. Those are numbers from Cheryl today. What I thought was interesting too, she said the revenue base is becoming more diverse. And she reiterated the three priorities on uh, Facebook and Instagram that she talked about these a year ago. But those are one, capitalize on the shift to mobile. Two, grow the number of advertisers, right? You can imagine, wait a second, if there's 65 million businesses using Facebook pages, and only 4 million of them are advertising. I personally know from all the work that I do in the speaking engagements and the training and the brands I work with across the US and, and internationally and the small businesses and the training that there really is a big gap in the learning and the understanding and being able to know, all right, this is what Facebook ad does. These are the parameters. This is the targeting. Uh, features available, the targeting uh, elements available to me, but then wrapping that all into a solid strategy with your content, with your video, with your blog, with your email marketing, your pixel, your retargeting, your custom audiences, your lookalike audiences. And I know for a lot, a lot, a lot of business owners, especially very busy, busy small business owners, it's a learning curve, right? So I know that uh, I'm on a mission to help more people. And I know a lot of my colleagues and friends out there are too. And so it's Facebook. Uh, and then uh, Cheryl gave an example in response. I didn't mention the third one. See, you're all paying attention. Number three. So capitalize and shift to mobile, grow the number of advertisers and make ads more relevant and effective. Those are the three main goals on the business side, which is wonderful. And uh, they're staying very true to that. And so in the Q&A section, Cheryl mentioned that, for example, an ad, a video, really strongly talking about video ads. So it's about the format, but also Cheryl mentioned really about the optimizing. Okay. So you have a 30 second video ad. You place that on, I don't know, Super Bowl TV or YouTube. She didn't mention those, but she's just saying, you know, a 30 second ad elsewhere works in a certain way. But what really works on Facebook is to optimize, to optimize that approach. She gave an example of Motorola. And for example, Motorola rolling out. I don't know, I think a new phone or something, whatever they're rolling out. And uh, I wrote my notes here. What they did first, which was really clever, is to start with an awareness campaign first, targeting Android users, get that going, build that audience, and then do retargeting 
with a purchase objective, right? So you warm in the audience up. You're not just trying to just jump in there, do an ad, press a button, one and done, where's my sales? He doesn't work like that, right? So Facebook offers some amazing features to, you know, really allow, allow us to, um, I capitalize on that retargeting, that nurturing of the relationship. I like doing the video views as an audience and then a lookalike and then also the new page engagement. So anyone who's ever engaged with your page, you could even do, let's say you do, uh, we were talking to one of our clients the other day about this, a carousel swipe. So she had done a carousel ad. She can go in there and create a custom audience that includes people who have even swiped the, ca the carousel. Let's say they didn't comment, they didn't react, they didn't like, they didn't share, they didn't click, but they swiped. They swipe the carousel. That shows a little wee bit of interest, right? So we can come back in with a different piece of content and, it, 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 you know, and bring them in and, and, and warm them up. Hi, Mike Stilzer. So that's that. Is there a write up of the key things Zuck said in the earnings call? You know, there, there are, uh, Mike. And uh, actually, you know, the best place to go right now is uh, facebook.com slash Zuck. Look at uh, Zuck has a, a summary and the new, he's done the new uh, three, five, and 10 year. Uh, Roadmap. Good to see you, my friend. Hey, I heard you're going to move to Crowdcast now that Huzza's shutting down. Get grief. I had an issue earlier with Blue Jeans, not their fall, bless their hearts. I was broadcasting into a group and uh, Facebook changed something up, right? With their Flash or HTML5 support, and uh, I couldn't get going in my group. Anyway, I thought I would uh, give Be Live a whirl. It's my first time using it. <laughs> Krista. Oh, yeah, it's up for updates. You betcha. Yes. Yeah, Zuck for president. Ha ha ha. I think they're working on that. Uh, yeah, Lisa Kanda. You got it, girl. Facebook ads retargeting. Oh, regathering. I think you mean to say retargeting. That's probably an autocorrect, right? Oh, good. Dave Basalto, and he's with Iographer. Iographer is a fabulous uh, camera gear for your phone. I have all of it myself. I've got to get my 7 Plus ordered. Yes. Yes. Oh, hey, Sarah. Sarah Keeley. What a pretty name. Yeah, no, no worries. You can catch up the replay. Uh, who do we have here? Jesse. Hiya. Great to meet you last week at the BPAA conference. Yes. Now, that is the Bowling Proprietors Association of America. Did you know, my friends, that bowling, bowling is the number one indoor recreational sport in the United States? And uh, I was very blessed to speak to their annual bowling summit. And I'm going back in uh, June in Nashville. Uh, last week it was in Char uh, Charleston, um, South Carolina. And they presented me with the most gorgeous crystal engraved bowling pen. It's huge. It's like this big. It's being shipped to me because it was too much to put in my case. <laughs> oh, cool. Lisa, you've been able to add live contributors. Oh, Lisa, I'd really love to know how, how that's working for you and, and, and how you're, how you're um, changing up like your live strategy. Yeah, really clever. I like it. Mm -hmm. Nachi, I don't know if I said hi to you before, but hi, Nachi. India in the house. Hey, yeah. Oh, you're welcome. Always my pleasure. Hi, Larry. Uh, we'll have a tab for Facebook stories, like a video tab. Oh, well, mm, I showed you. You might have asked me that after I'd already brought that thing up on the screen. But the video tab, yeah, that's a good question. They've got collections coming, but collections is going to be like Snapchat's Discover. We'll see how that goes. See, here's the thing, my friends. What's happening is that, okay, so 90, 90%, 90% of Facebook users access on their mobile device, okay? I've even seen stats that say as much as 40%, actually even a wee bit more than 40% of Facebook users have never accessed on desktop. They only ever have used Facebook and mobile. That might be for more like developing countries where maybe, you know, mobile devices are are just way more prevalent than laptops and whatnot, computers. And so what happens is, you know, a small piece of real estate. There's only so much ad inventory. There's only so many scrolls and swipes that people will do. So that's all it's meant is that ad inventory is that the supply uh, or excuse me, the demand is exceeding the supply. So more people are wanting to buy ads than Facebook has room to put into the mobile newsfeed, predominantly mobile, obviously desktop, 
a little bit more. Uh, and you got the right hand side, you got the audience network, a billion, you know, people can reach a billion advertisers can reach a billion people using the audience network. So that's pretty exciting too. And then you've got all the different places to put the ads, obviously the video coming, the messenger coming, and then you've got the new video tab. Uh, you've got um, WhatsApp will be obviously ads there and the new video tab and the new collections. Am I missing anything? That's probably... That's probably about it. But my point is that, you know, instead of like, well, some people say, that, okay, that prices of ads are going to go through the roof. Um, we'll see. The prices might be affected, but also what's going to happen is Facebook will continue to build new places for our eyeballs to go, right? As Gary Vaynerchuk has always said for, for, for a decade now <laughs> that eyeballs are monetizable. <laughs> Wherever the eyeballs are, right, that's where people will be willing, advertisers will be willing to pay. All right. So Therese, you're asking how the mid roll ads work. From what I know so far, it's uh, that's why just the other day, Facebook announced that they're going to give a little more lift, a little more priority in the news feed to longer videos. But notice they didn't qualify what longer means. They didn't say it's like five minutes or 20 or an hour or whatever. They just said longer, whatever it takes to get the job done that for your broadcast, right? Or your video or your live. And so as far as I know off the top of my hand, I'm pretty sure it has to be 90 seconds minimum and the ad would start at 20 seconds in. Okay, now, and and, and also uh, there's a monetary uh, rev share uh, aspect to it as well, which I think is awesome. I don't know all just yet. Uh, photographytrainers.com.au, look at you. Looking forward to using live videos to broadcast our photography classes. That's gonna be fun, I might have to tune in. That's on my my list of list of uh, hobbies this year. <laughs> Take a photography class. I love it. I'm a bit of an amateur photographer. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> No, that's really fascinating. Now, this is going to take up a lot of the screen, but I see it's okay. Audrey, this is really great. Now, I just I just used uh, some new uh, tools on Facebook and whatnot to find a, a local hairdresser myself. She was saying a friend posted in her profile asking for a recommendation, and Facebook threw it out into my newsfeed as a highlighted recommendation. Yeah, this is really interesting. Now, earlier, just as I was running through the list of updates from today's earnings call, Mark talked about the AI element, the artificial intelligence, where they are working on over the next 10 years. I mean, that means it will see changes like, you know, many, many times a year from now for the next 10 years. But they can analyze text is already happening. I've seen exactly what you're talking about, where if you're asking someone for something and you're asking, hey, does anybody know, like, you know, a, a good Thai place to eat in San Diego County? And then the little thing will pop up with a recommendation. Yeah, it's pretty cool. huh? I think it is pretty cool. Uh, Lisa, so you said you're using uh, live contributors with consultants for one of your clients. Just creating a strategy that looks like a great way to leverage expertise. I think that's a great thing too. Yeah. Hey, Mike Stelzner, if you're still here, I think that'd be awesome for you too to look at maybe having some other uh, broadcasters come into your page and assigning uh, live contributors. That'd be fun. Yeah, there you go, Audrey. It's called Deep Text. Exactly. Oh, cool. Thank you, Sabrina. I'm going to give you two thumbs up. <laughs> uh, hey, Bill. Okay. So, oops. Yeah, he said, I think they said three minutes. You have to watch for the full length in order to get some Facebook love. Oh, for the, lo the longer ones you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, you might be right. Yeah. Uh, Jay, how many posts do you think I should be boosting if I upload once a week? Uh, are you saying you do one post a week? You should be doing three to five posts a week. Seven would be good, but if you can do three to five posts a week... Uh, how many you boost? I can't give you a prescriptive answer because it depends on what you're sharing. Are you sharing educational, informative, highly shareable? Number one tip for your content is what I call thumb stopping, right? Everybody's like this on their phones. Scroll, scroll, scroll with a thumb. So do, 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 do. Stop. You want to have them go, whoa, what's that? What's that? That looks like something cool that I could be interested in. One of my favorite ads, I've talked about this many times, is uh, I'm sure most of you have seen it. If you haven't, check it out. It's uh, by chat books, right? Chat books, it's a way to get print books of your uh, photos. Your photos, uh, I think it's supposed to be of your kids. I'm going to put that in the comments there. And um, 
I loved it. I mean, I watched that. I watched the full three minutes and 40 seconds, and I was all ready to sign up when I, I remembered that I forgot to have kids. <laughs> 50 million views and only 124,000 fans. But anyway, we can't all hit it out of the park like that. But my point, though, uh, Mr. J, is it, it isn't just about you know a prescriptive number. It's really about providing educational content. If there's an element of entertainment, fun, upbeat, uh, lively, personable, authentic. Um, uh, what else was going to say? Like on, I was going to say on trend, on brand, on trend, current, in other words. Yeah. All right. Hope that's helpful. Ha <laughs> Hey, Mike, you're thinking of it. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, I know we have a lunch coming up, so we'll, we'll talk. <laughs> Hey, hey, Diane, if you're just starting a Facebook business page today, what's the first thing I would do? Hmm. Well, great question. So I probably would have first set up a bunch of video content. I would have mapped out probably 30 days worth of content and a mixture of maybe 80% video, 15 of um, visual image and only and only five of links but that's not to say when you're doing a video you can't link i would install the facebook pixel on my page uh i would definitely set aside a budget it'd have to be somewhere between 500 to a thousand dollars to really get the lift up on your posts not necessarily you could do a page like campaign to just get more likes authentic real likes uh, but ideally you want to amplify the reach of really good content you want to drive them over to a landing page with the pixel, create those custom audiences of the people who visit your site, and then target them again with some more content. I know for most people, this is like, ah, they're my hero. That's a lot of steps, Mari. Uh, and then it just is what, what it takes on Facebook now. It's not a one and done. It's not an exact prescription for every person and every business. Uh, the emphasis is always on good quality content that isn't about pushing and selling and and hoping that you could just press that advertise button and immediately get sales. I meet people all across the country and the world that say, Mari, Facebook ads don't work. I met one gal one time at an event. She says, Mari, I spent $10,000 on Facebook ads and got nothing. I was like, oh, girl, we need to talk. <laughs> Oh, we did talk. And I, I really felt sorry for her because it wasn't her fault per se. And that's what I'm talking about, that learning curve, you know. So, uh, but yeah, that's a great question. And I would test, test, test. Thanks for asking that, Diane. This, I say this to many of my students and clients. It's not always the news you want to hear, but when you're advertising on It seems to be jumping around there. Um, you're going to want to, uh, to earmark the first roughly $1,200 to testing, to really making sure. Oh, I can see it saying the video will resume. Yeah, it's coming and going. I wonder if that's because I'm broadcasting in 720. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it's kind of fun doing this new uh, Facebook uh, Live with BeLive.tv. Be live. Yeah, I know my good friend Molly Mahoney. She's a she's a ninja with this. Oh, cool! Hi, April. Yeah, I think I saw you on their. Uh, they feature you on their homepage. How cool is that? And Maurice, I am using a real simple Logitech HD. I'm trying to see in the bright light. Yeah, it's just called a Logitech HD. And then in front of me, I have one of those uh, uh, Diva ring lights. And then at the two sides of me, I have uh, what are those things called? like a little desktop, desktop photography lights. And it's now dark. Where did the sun go? Well, normally there'd be sun shining out that window, but I was a bit late in getting this. <laughs> yeah, would I recommend a pro to help with that? I really would. I really would, Diane. Here's the, here's the thing. If anybody here, if you've read The E-Myth by Michael Gerber, a fabulous book came out in the 1980s, I believe it was. I've met Michael many times. He's an absolute genius. And The, the E-Myth is basically the entrepreneurial myth. And that is it. if you have a skill, a brilliance, a talent, a passion, and all, and you go, I'm going to go in business. I'm going to go in business for myself. 
And all of a sudden you go in business and you find that you're working in the business and now you're wearing 15 hats and you're being the salesperson and the marketing person and the business development and the financials and the everything. And then with Facebook, you know, I'm making content now and I'm promoting it. And I have to be an ads ninja and it just really can get overwhelming. So really, if you can set up systems and, and allocate some budget, even honestly, like if you could do like a 50 to a hundred dollars a week, this is just a nominal starting point. I don't know where everybody is in their business development, but 50 to a hundred for some people, maybe more like, you know, 500 to a thousand for other people to bring on even part-time assistants, someone who can help with your ads, a virtual assistant who could help with some video development. You can give them the raw footage and then they, you know, do some editing for you. And uh, hi, Molly in the house. Yeah, and um, what was I gonna say about that? Uh, yeah, my, my good friend, Shalene, Shalene Johnson. Shout out to Shalene. If you don't follow her, you should, she's amazing. She does a lot with Facebook and Instagram. She's a celebrity fitness coach and a best-selling author. Actually, uh, she will be speaking at Social Media Marketing World. All of you going to Social Media Marketing World 2017, uh, March 22nd, 23rd, 24th here in San Diego. I will see you there. And I do know that Shalene, my friend, uh, my good friend is speaking there. And Shalene has a brilliant um, system for creating content. Like she'll do some research and then she'll do a Facebook Live. And then her team will take that video and it'll get transcribed. They put captions on it. They break it down into just the audio. The audio can go as a podcast. They create articles from it. They create about 100 tweets from it. They create visual quotes from it, create video clips from it. That is the beauty of repurposing. And obviously it's not like shared like all at once, right? It's, it's pieced up, it's chunked down. So I think it's really, really clever. It's a great, great strategy. Shout out for social media marketing world. Dave Basalto says it's awesome. And Molly says the same. Really, are you gonna be there? I will see you there, Miss Molly. Coolio. Yes, we'll have a glass of champagne and then maybe we'll go to karaoke. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, Molly says uh, hiring an assistant is a game changer. It's really interesting because it's at first you think, oh my gosh, no, I know for me being a, an entrepreneur, I'm like, no, I want to do this myself. But uh, it, it really, it's really amazing. Oh, Gina, here's a good question. Better to spend money on Facebook ads or on videographer to promote product. On a videographer? Uh, I'm not quite sure if I understand your question, but I would say, depending on your comfort level and skill level with your video, you don't need to do a lot of editing. You want to check out Adobe Spark. Adobe Spark is a fabulous platform that you can easily create videos using uh, photos, stock images, your images, video clips, uh, and text overlay. You want to design your videos for, for a sound off. 80% uh, of video ads are watched with sound off in the newsfeed. I know they're testing with sound on, but I hope that it doesn't ever come to that. <laughs> um, and then another one is Animoto. I'm a brand ambassador for both Adobe Spark and Animoto. Animoto is a great platform for same idea, putting the images and then the um, video clips and text overlay. So you can do it fairly inexpensively and then you're gonna break up your ad budget and do that. I love being able to put your questions up. How cool is that? Awesome, Maurice, this will help our student ad agency, the Social Alliance. Nice, glad to hear it. Yeah, thanks, Bill. That's exactly what I use. Yep, you said it, Krista. <laughs> yeah, so, well, this went on just a wee bit longer than I thought. Oh, chatbots, Audrey's asking about chatbots. Okay, uh, you wanna check out, and my good friends over at Digital Marketer, uh, Molly, and I'm going to be speaking at Traffic and Conversion as well. Anyone who's coming to Traffic and Conversion, it's two weeks before uh, Social Media Marketing World. And uh, Molly, I love her podcast. I was just catching one of the episodes the other week. Um, but check out ManyChat, ManyChat.com. Pretty sure that's what it is. M-A, A for Apple. I know a Scottish-Canadian accent. Yeah, ManyChat.com. M-A-N-Y-C-H-A-T, ManyChat.com. So you can create a Facebook bot super lightning fast, uh, that's the way to go for it. Facebook is doing a lot more with Messenger so that you can you can place ads inside Messenger, that's coming, it's just tests right now, like I say, in um, Thailand and Australia. Um, but then you can also do Messenger as a destination. Most everybody should have this in your ads dashboard where you click, you select traffic as the ob object, 
objective. And then um, the little messenger icon or toys will show up and you can choose to have people simply message you in response to your ad. You, you can say learn more or find out more or contact us or send message all the different ones. So, but you can connect in with that, your chat bot. And then I know that uh, digital marketer are doing some cool stuff with, uh, with the many chats and you can actually message, you can message people, you can respond, you can do broadcast through many, many chat. So pretty good stuff. Uh, no, no, not uh, here. I'll put it in here. It is M A N Y many chat. Yeah, William, it does. They do video now. You can put you can put uh, photos, like I say, yours and stock, plus a fairly new feature is you can do video clips. And I think it's up to, I forget, someone can tell me, is it 10 seconds? I should know this, 10 seconds, 20 seconds. But let's say you wanted to do longer, then you just, you just do a few more storyboards and they can weave in one into the other. Great, Dave, you're using Messenger for uh, customer service. Great, great, great. I just realized I could make my screen a little bit smaller. Then I don't have to look way down in the bottom corner of my massive, my massive screen here. <laughs> All right. So I better go. I have to finish up my slides for tomorrow. Anybody who's coming? Anybody here in the San Diego area? San Diego area. Hug seventeen. Hug is H U D. Stands for HubSpot user group. But you don't have to be a Hub HubSpot user to come. Uh, you can come and hang out with us there. It's going to be great. Neil Patel. I've never met Neil Patel yet, and I've always wanted to. He is amazing. Founder or co-founder of Kissmetrics and Crazy Egg and Hello Bar. Well, Crazy Egg bought Hello Bar, I believe, right? I have not seen Train Spotting too. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay. Sweet. Oh, thanks, April. Love you too. Much love. Okay, I better go. I got to get some work done today. <laughs> okay, no, we got some work done. Have a blessed rest of your day, your evening, your morning, your afternoon. We'll talk again real soon. Much love. Anything else I can help you with? No problem. Ask away. Good night. Mwah.